a collection of Mark III Mondeos and a collection of lawnmowers. We've been on buying lawnmowers again, look. So here we go, we've got another three lawnmowers here which we've just picked up and um, Gary's got two of them. He's got the two here, the black one and also the red Honda at the end there. And I went along for the ride, but uh, this one had just come in from the bloke who does house clearances and uh, that little mount field in the middle there. It is a runner and uh, I bought that one. So let's get them out anyway, see what we got. And also folks, I had my new tire put on me uh, Mondale, one of the new wheels that I got. And uh, look, it's gone down, look. <laughs> so I don't know whether it's a puncher or whether the seal around the um, tire is a bit dodgy. The bloke did say that the rim was corroded and he put some sealer on it, but um, it, it looks like that's probably the, the issue. So I'm gonna have to take that off again today. And Jim is gonna take it uh, to work with him and he's gonna do the inside of the rim for me. So that's gotta, that's gotta be done today. So let's get these out, hold on. I'll give you a hand, hold on. Sure. Right, this is a McCulloch 46 500. I'll take it's 46 centimetre. Yeah. I would have thought that one is. I'll let you get them out. Oh. Hey? Oh, look. This is my one. This has got mice like the Mondeo. <laughs> it's got a hole in the grass bag, but I'll just put a patch over that. This is my one. Nice little mount field. The deck's got a bit of scabbing on the front of it, but um, I'm not too worried about that. It's a runner, it just needs a basic service. This one, he had a good deal with this one. Little Honda. Oh, get it out there. Go in the middle. So there we go, folks. We've got a, a mount field, hand propelled, 41 centimetre cut with the uh, Easy Start RV150 engine on. That's my one. And that is a runner, that one. This one's a non-runner, but we've uh, got to find out why. But again, it's all there. It's the old Honda Eco HRG41. And the final one is this McCulloch 46 inch cut with, again, Briggs & Stratton, basically a classic engine on. So three nice mowers. All the decks are in pretty good order. They are out there, if you look. Handy having the old mower van there. Oh yeah. You know? Right, let's get them round the back. Yeah, I've got something to show you. Hey, what are you talking about? What's that? What have you got here? <coughs> something else I bought on my old back. All right. Oh, here we go. I'll do vintage, you see. I'm retro, not you. What you got here then? Nice little log trailer. Get this from? Uh, it's quite a note, isn't it? He's, he's trying to take over the retro restore. I'm retro restore. And I got a nice little. Uh... What's this then? Is it steam powered? What is it? Is it steam? Oh, yeah, look at that. Look, that know. pulls back there. Yeah, I think it's meant to have some sort of summits on there, isn't it? I don't know. It might not all be there. There's a little uh, meth burner there by the looks of it, which must go inside somewhere. Oh, yeah, that slides in there. Look. That slides in that little tray there. So there's your burner, which obviously heats up a chamber there. It's missing the old... Uh, the chimney's chimney the missing, there. isn't it, basically, that's all. But these are going on eBay for 85 quid on their own. What's it called, a Mamu yeah, Tia? Yeah, Mamu, yeah. Look at that, look. Little pistons there. Probably wants a good strip down and resurface and a refurbish. I used to do that sort of stuff on Retro Hacks channel, my Retro Hacks channel. Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, if I do make a comeback, I could uh, have a look at that maybe. Or are you gonna just sell it? Anyone interested in it? Make yeah. him an offer. A lot of you out there like collecting stuff or repairing stuff. Yeah. Um, just send Gary a private email on Project Man channel and uh, you can buy that off him. And how much you reckon they're going for? Well, the log trailers are going for about 80 quid on their own. That's this thing at the back it's here. That, yeah. So there you go, folks, little project there. If he, he's not gonna get the time to do anything with it. I won't do nothing with it, no. So if anyone wants to put in a little offer for him, a little cheeky bid, give him a message on the Project Man channel. I'll leave a link down below in the description of this video. It's all free. Unbelievable. There you go, happy days. So let's just get these out the back for the moment. I don't know if these two run, the other two. We'll just put some petrol in them, quickly give them a blast up. It's not gonna be a repair video on that. We're just showing you that you can go out there and buy these sort of things if you've got a van, 
if you can get there straight away, you can pick up bargains like this. This ain't, this ain't cost a lot of money at all. So um, I think you paid £25 for that Honda, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, £25 with the Honda and £15 with the other two. There you go. So they're all out there, but you've got to be straight on it, as I said to you in my previous video. Right, well, here they are, folks. Don't look too bad, do they? So 25 and 30 quid, 15 each. That's 55 quid, isn't it? 25 for that one, 15 each for them. 30, 55 pounds. Happy days. And uh, I just want to say a thank you to, again, one of my subscribers, Ellis the DJ, who's uh, purchased this off of my Amazon wish list. He's got me some uh, chain oil there because we're going to be using the chain saw, cutting up logs and all that sort of stuff. We use it all the time, actually. So thanks very much, Ellis. Uh, and you also bought a lovely gift for our Butler's Empire channel as well from that wish list. Sharon's over the moon with that. So thank you very much, bud. Right, so you just check the oil in this little baby. That's up to level, isn't it? Yep. And it's clean. Yep. How about that there? So someone's done a bit of maintenance on it. Again, this just, just generally wants a clean up, folks. Very good tread on the tyres on this. Look at that, look. It's just scraping it. These ones we know have come from house clearances. So the chances are these have probably been uh, in garages or whatever, or sheds or whatever. I don't know if that's getting it really. It's what? On the bottom the, of the tank the, and the petrol's yellow. It's, it's old petrol, is it? I don't know if it's we'll try, we'll try to get it before. Is there not something stuck underneath there, is there? Because we've had animals live under there before. No, it's clear, the belt's on. Yeah, it's all clear. Come away, Merlin. Merlin, away. Try it again. Hold on. Well, it's got no fuel going in it, is it? No, not pulling right though. Yeah. Right, so there is an issue with this one. Okay, well that's fair enough. So that's not too much of a problem. We'll look into that. It's only a straightforward Briggs and Stratton classic engine anyway. Um, so we'll get onto that one. Right, this one, just check the oil on that one. This is my little mount field, by the way. See what it's got in there. Well, the old RV 150 engine. Is that on there? That's all right, isn't it? Up to level. Looks pretty clean and all, doesn't it? Lucky I taught you how to do all this, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, you know. Yeah, bang on it. Bang on the level. It looks cl clean, actually, doesn't it? Not Look at that. Look how clean that oil is, folks. Again, house clearance stuff. Uh, have a little look in there, hold on. You check the fuel. There's a bit in there. Oh, it's got the old sponge air filter in it. Which is uh, okay. <coughs> Let's put that on there. Uh, that goes that way round. Put that in there like that. There we go. Right, that's on. Right, no primers on these. Put it on choke on the handle. Take it off choke. Right, so again, it's running fast, but it won't run slow. <coughs> Try and start it again. We'll take it straight onto slow. I'll take it off the choke. Fast. Oh, it's coming through now. Let's drop it down to slow. Right, so it runs on fast, it's not going down to slow, that's probably cable adjustment on that. But that carb will come off and have a bit of a clean. Apart from that, look, good tread on the tyres and all that. All the adjusters are all there. It's just a little bit there, which I'm not really too concerned about. I'll just um, put a bit of red hammer right over that once I clean the deck up and all that. But around it, again, nice solid mower, RV1, RV150 engine, happy days. Right, this is the little baby, he paid £25 for this Honda. So again, 
we do our basic checks first of all before we start any strange lawnmower. And let's check the oil. You don't run them ones in the on these. No. Is it on a dipstick? Bone dry. Right, well it's not showing anything on the dipstick. So just wind it in first of all. And just take it out again. Just see if there is anything in there whatsoever. Just on the tip, isn't it? Just on that end tip. Yeah, so there is oil in it, but we will put a drop more in it, folks, because uh, that's extremely low. So we're just going to do that. See, when we bought these, what we made sure of, as we had a quick look around them, was that things like the cables are all okay. We give the levers a twist and all that, give them a pull, because they're the things that cost money if you've got to do replace them. I like 10 to 15 pounds a, a, a cable, especially on the self-drive ones, or like this Honda, there's three cables on there, so if... Is there three cables or two? Two, I think. No, there's only two on there. But some of these can have three cables on as well, especially the um, the auto clutch Hondas and that sort of thing. So just be aware that cables can be quite dear and that can lose you your profit sort of thing. So let's put, he's putting some in there, look. Right, so we're not gonna go too mad. Did you get the funnel? Ah, I winged it, didn't I? Unbelievable. Merlin's coming to have a look, isn't it, Merlin? That's it, give it the old oil clean, look. Yeah, look at that, look. <laughs> Hey, a lot of people use oil, but uh, trouble that is, it leaves it all smeary. And when the lawnmower starts up, it all sticks, all the fine particles of dust stick to the, um, all the dust, yeah. yeah, stick to the mower, and it looks horrible. And that right, Merlin? Hey, what about you, Dougal? Hey, it's got a in there, right, well, that'll do. Come out of the way, dogs. Come on. Right, so we haven't looked at these at all, folks. You've seen them come straight out of the van, so we don't know whether this one's going to start either. Have we got any fuel in it? A little bit. There's something in there, isn't there? Stinks Does it? Not like petrol. Right, well, we'll try it, and if not, we'll put a bit of extra fuel in it. Because this is a big money item, this one. Although it's not a self drive, is it? No. It is just a push mower, so. Well, that's alright, isn't it? It's pretty uh, pretty new, by the looks. It ain't done much work, is it? No. What do you reckon, Merlin? So petrol's on. Petrol's on, yep. <laughs> right, go on in. Let's see if we can start this one up. I don't know it out much. No. That's probably crappy fuel in it, isn't it? So let's get a drop with the old uh, easy start. Right, come out of the way, Merlin. Right, go on, I won't put that on yet. Oh, don't you love it when you hear that noise? Hey. Right, well, with this one, folks, I just, I'm a little bit intrigued as to why this is... Uh, a little bit tight, I wonder whether it's hydro locked. So we'll take the plug out of it and just see whether or not the, uh, and turn it over and see if that makes life a lot easier. Oh, that's tight. Go. Oh. Not normally that tight. Let's have a look. How are you doing? Right, well, just turn it over, I've just taken the plug out. Just give it a pull over now, see if we uh, spit any oil out of there. Yes, there's oil in there. Look at that, look, can you see it, folks? You see the oil bobbling about, look. Look, in there, look. So, oil has got part. I'll tell you what, that's an old blinking champion plug in that. Go and get a B2LM out. Because that's full of, look, look, see, see the oil, folks? Look, if I just tip that plug up, you'll see the oil just start to drip out. Look, there we go, see it, look. There we go, that's how clotted up that is. So we'll try a new plug in there, and uh, hopefully it's just an issue with uh, hydro locking, which means that when we start this one up, the exhaust could be um, fully clogged up as well, so we'll have to play this one by ear. Well, you could have opened the box for me, I've got one hand. B2LM, yeah, that's the one. Merlin, get out of the way. Merlin's quite apt to nicking tools that are laying on the floor. Look, he's got his eyes on it, look. He's done that before, out of his socket box, and he runs off of them. Right, they normally get to about 28 to 30 foul, these folks, so uh, we're going to put this straight in anyway. I'm anticipating this could probably fire up, you know. You yeah. So let's compress that washer. Like that. And a little nip up, that's all we need. Right, now what you should find, hopefully, is that um, when he pulls it over, Merlin, look, 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 look what he's doing, look. Get out of there now, look. 
get away. Go on, away. Away. He's found that hole there, look, in the bag. Go on, away. Right. See if that starts. Did it have petrol in? I can't remember. That doesn't smell like petrol, does it? No, that's like um, paraffin or sh shellac. Hold on, let's pick that plug up in case it, it sucks under, if it does start. Right, oh, is it, did you prime it? No. It's clearing now, isn't it? Right, let's take that air filter off. Put some squirt in it. And that should clear everything then. Oh, you got a screwdriver. Oh, you got a screwdriver out. Unbelievable. Why have a dog and bark yourself? He's uh, struggling to find the belts for this ride on, folks. So um, I don't think you can get any details off it. Yeah, there's a number on these belts, Gary. I think so. Well, on, that, on the little one there, that's the one we're struggling with, isn't it? Yeah. So that's something you've got to look for. There's something on there. Just get that off of there. I wonder if the air filter's all uh, blocked up. That's all right, isn't it? Right, let's put some squirt in there. Where is it? Because we don't know whether that's decent stuff we're priming that with. Right, get back Merlin. Go on it. Next one. There we go. That's it, isn't it? That'll blow the crap out. Yeah, that's a carb clean. So it does run. There's no wrong. In fact, it's sounding nice and quiet, isn't it? Yeah. I'll put a bit of petrol in there in a minute. Yeah. We'll get some uh, juice and just put some juice in it, see if we can get it to run properly, folks. So what are you doing over here? Just draining fuel on your grass. Oh, God. All over my bleating grass, look. So maybe it was old crap fuel in the base of the uh, bowl, which is just taken out. Did you take the manger out of there? No, I thought I can't get the bowl out. No, not with that there. I think it feel well anyway. Right. It smells a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. That smells rancid, folks. If you could have smelly vision now, that smells absolutely foul. So I'm just hoping that uh, we can clear it out by just taking that out. If we can get it to run, that's all the main thing. We know we know it runs and starts anyway, so this is just to see what was in the float bowl, really. So while he's doing that, I might as well just put a drop of fuel in this... Um, McCulloch. I know there's a little drop of something in there. I won't go too mad. It's only that it's just not priming. It's just below the level to priming, but it's quite yellow in there as well, you see. I'll just put a drop in there. Just to get it up so it primes. <sighs> so as you can see, folks, when I squirt the primer now, we've got a jet of fuel going straight into the carb, which is great. Well, we know it's prime, so I might as well put the air filter back on for the moment. Again, making sure they run and there's no bent cranks or anything is the main thing because they're big money earners and that means that engine will be redundant. So let's try that again. Why that's hard to stop, the drive's engaged, look. Right, well, we just found out why that's hard to start, folks. The drive was automatically engaged, so that's the reason being it needs adjusting. Yeah, you've got three little holes on these McCulloch's. You've got three holes there. It's on the highest one, so we'll just drop that spring, put it down to the lowest one. It was well engaged. That's why it was hard to pull over, folks. So nothing wrong with the engine. That's too loose. Right, yeah, go on in. See, it's too loose now. That's why I'm at the mowers, you see. Eh? That's why I'm head of lawnmowers. I taught you, ain't I? That goes back in there. That's better. Just got that little bit. Let's have a look. Functional. Right, that might be all right, yeah. But as I say, let's. Uh, go on, you put it in. Well, you'll know straight away if it was easy or not, wouldn't you? Should start first time. I might have to prime it again. Cold, isn't it? Cold engine. One, two, three. I always do four. Go on it. Yeah, just trying to drive still. Quick, isn't it? 
carry on, you might as well do the lawn. See that smoking a bit, see it's got to burn off a bit of oil, folks. Don't worry about that if you ever see that on one of these Briggs Classic engines. Does it come off all right? Yeah, it's still trying to creep a little bit, folks, see? On some of these, you have a little adjuster at the back behind the, um, the grass box. There's sometimes a little adjuster there, so we might have to do that, you see? I'll just try it on that other one. Yeah, just try it on the end one. It might be... Uh, it might be just a little bit too much. It did feel a bit sloppy, but it might be all right. Who knows? Try it. Just dragging a little bit, isn't it? Is it going? Well, it sounds quiet, folks. We've just got to burn that oil off on it. Hunting a little bit, maybe. leave that running for a little bit let's get a clip all right just got a clip folks just throw that on look there we go and we'll let that sit now until it burns off that oil out of that exhaust happy days Right, so you've drained that bowl out on this Honda now. Yeah. Did you take the manger out or could you not get it out? Or? Get it out. Right, so if this don't start now, folks, this is going to come off anyway, probably for a, a carb clean. They're all the same. All these types of carbs, same as the ones on the Tecumseh. These are the bowl type carbs on this. Just going to put some more petrol in it. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. see if we can get... Eh? Yeah, it's nearly clear already. Look over there, look. Oh, hello, Mummy! There, see? So we know it runs, but obviously the carb is going to be blocked up the main jet. That's your problem, not mine, because that's your lawnmower. Hello, Mummy! He stinks, baby, doesn't it? Well, we've got another lawnmower, baby. That's our one. He's trying to bite a hole in it, baby. There is a hole in it. Yeah, I know, but he's sticking his bleating nozzle in it. Oh, hello. What did you do? Squirt some stuff in it? Squirt that stuff. Yeah. We'll try a bit more. It might pull it through, you see. Just keep going. Take the choke off. Yeah, it's off now. Go on. Try again. Missed it, didn't you? Nah, it's not going to run. It'll have to come off for a car, please. Yeah. Old fuel. Anyway, that's your job. Mummy's on pooper scooper duties. Hey? What? That's that string he was eating. That ball. Well, as you can see, folks, that's cleaned up now. All the oil's burnt off. And it's actually probably running all right. Happy days. There you go. Mummy's doing her work over there. Work in progress. Look, all of my bleating lawn, all of my patio, look. We're only doing this on the patio, folks, just to show you anyway. So, baby, they're building up again, aren't they? Yeah, I've not seen them working any yet. Hey? Well, you want to watch the videos? No, I don't want to watch You'd it. You'd see this was on look, the channel last week. Do I look like a person who wants to watch lawn matter videos? No. No. Nah. Yeah. You watch no. me, you watch mine, baby. I watch you. Hey? Oh, my, he's got another one, Charlotte. Look. A breeding. Look, so these are all garage. These are all pier now. Like. Over the winter period, aren't they? Look, that there at all? Look. Yeah, I know. He's got all them, Shell. Come on, Gary, stop buying and fixing. I know. Now. Remember, remember what it used to be like here, Shell. Yeah, it's starting again. It was like Blink Steps Yard, wasn't it? So you're sign up on the wall, look. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. I ain't got round to it. I've already put it up there. I've got to get this one in. Yeah, well, get that sorted. So, as you see, folks, it is quite easy if, if you uh, go out and get them when they come up to pick up these lawnmowers. I've only just started doing them again. And uh, I've already got a row here. One, two, three. I've got four on the go there now. I've already sold three. You've got one in the back of a log cabin at all. Have I? No, I haven't. No, I brought it out, didn't I? Surely. Oh, I've got. Look at that. I don't even know what I've got, folks. Look. He's right, and all. Look. I've got that other one there. Oh, that was going to be my next video, wasn't it? That's right. This is the one that nearly pulled his arm off when, when we tried to start it. So uh, we'll start working on these. I'm going to be working on these, folks. I know a lot of you want to see the uh, the bike restorations coming up, so I'm going to be working on these. My workshop is again back in a tip, so Jim has been working in here and I've only really just been able to get back in here again. So I'm going to be tidying this whole lot up. You're not going to see all that on camera, but I'll get it all set up and then uh, we'll start doing the restoration on the uh, RSX 100, also the mobile as well. I'm not too worried about the trotter van yet, as I said to you before, if you, some of you have asked, because that's going up in money. And I buy these stuff, and all my other bikes, the stuff I buy, I buy for investment purposes. So don't think, like someone said again, oh, you've got so many projects on the go, you're never finishing anything. We finish everything. But I haven't finished a trotter van, obviously. And these are just the two new projects, the, the bikes, the lawnmowers we do, just to throw in the odd video to mix it up a little bit. And also the car repair videos, as I've said before, as and when. Uh, the, the work comes up on them so we just bring you along for the ride so it's not a matter of I've got so much on I've got a lot on but it's all part of what makes my channel we like messing about with motors and bikes and mechanical stuff and all that sort of stuff so anyway I'm going to go now folks because uh, I've got to get going I've got to get that wheel off that term Mondeo Jimmy's mate's going to pick it up he works down the scrapyard take the new tyre off for free for me Jimmy's going to take the tyre into work uh, not the tyre, the wheel in the work, and he's going to repair that for me. Anyway, I'm going to go, folks. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, if you do like my lawnmower videos, have a look at this video here. And that's the playlist of all my other lawnmower videos where I'm tinkering about restoring and repairing them. You might enjoy that. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.